Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love. You can book your own personal private reading with me on my website, psychicbellalove.com. Use coupon code LOVE, all in caps, to get $10 off any readings, even the ones that were already on sale, like 15 minutes and past lives. So we are just gonna go ahead and jump right in because I only have a few minutes before I gotta do my next reading, but I just wanna look at Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony because people are always like, oh my God, are they gonna get back together or are they not, you know? And so I just wanted to see like what is gonna happen there. So Spirit, please join us and answer any questions that we have in regards to the connection between Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez. Are they going to work things out and get back together spirit yes or no thank you what do you need to know about this situation we're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding not with any bad intent please bless and protect all that we ask about in this reading as well as all who watch and participate thank you spirit amen so spirit how does mark anthony feel about Jennifer lopez thank you how does Mark Anthony feel about Jennifer Lopez? And I apologize if you guys hear a lot of background noise. I am using my headset, but oh my goodness. Um, my air conditioner broke, so I have to have the windows open because it gets hot in here. It hasn't yet today, but you know, preemptively <laughs> have to keep the house cool so that way we don't die later on. Um, it is getting fixed though, but my schedule is going to be a little wonky as to when I can record because there's several things in my house that are going to need some repairs done over the next couple weeks. And make sure you guys check out the description box below so that you can follow me on Instagram and Station Head. I have been very active on station head everybody thinks i disappeared i'm like nope i've just been on station head where i can be uncensored because it's kind of the hard thing about being over here i don't like being censored so uh, see this is what's so crazy i just did a reading on jennifer lopez and ben affleck and so that's why i was like let's just go ahead and dig up mark anthony and her real quick um, and in it, you know, she kept coming up with the same magician type energy that she's coming up as to how Mark feels about her, you know, um, it's funny too. There's a side to JLo that we do not all see, you know, some people might call her a manipulative or a user or she just dates guys for, you know, to get somewhere in her career. Or she stole Shanti's music. Or she's all about her money and her image. But she's showing up as the queen of swords. Not in any sort of air sign sense. But as in that she can actually have like a really kind of nasty attitude. Is what he is feeling about her on top of you know, that she likes to try to always spend things to her advantage. And he does see her as very like manipulative. So what he already feels like in the past, he has tried to work things out with her, mostly because you guys of the kids, because there was a family there. There's no love cards from him towards her in this you guys this is showing up in the past situation of trying to work things out in the past simply because there was kids involved there was a family that they had created together however he just feels like he got blindsided tricked manipulated into even being in that situation in the first place and it was like we could not make it work regardless because he just doesn't really feel like she's a very honest person, to be honest with you, is what I keep getting. It's like I've seen a side of her that nobody else has seen, and I don't like it, is like what Spirit keeps talking about. Um, you know, the funny thing is, in this underlying energy too, Two of Wands, Five of Swords, and Nine of Cups in Reverse. He sees that not only has like the public perception of her changed where people are sort of like, we don't care. We don't want to go away. Why are you like trying to come back and stuff? 
But on the flip side of that, not only is he seen that, but he also, he feels like something's gonna come out about her. Like she is gonna get exposed or something, or there's gonna be like an ex assistant, an ex housekeeper, somebody who's gonna come out and sue her or say like, this is what kind of a biatch she really is behind the scenes. He's sort of just been watching and waiting to see like when that's gonna happen because he feels like there's a lot that was done in the dark that you know, gonna come to light at some point. So it, there's no love cards here, guys. It's I tried to work it out with her in the past because we had kids, couldn't do it, don't want it again. So let's see. <sighs> Spirit. It's Jennifer Lopez feel about Mark Anthony. Thank you. How does Jennifer feel about Mark Anthony? Thank you, You know, this is the thing that I just have to say. I've said this on station head a million times. Jennifer's going through her karma for using men and the fact that she can't ever find a man. Like she's so, it's like she wants to find love, but then she also wants to do what she can to swing things in her favor. And neither of those things is working. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you kind of use the guy, but then you never find love. So, and it's, that's part of her karma for all the things that she's done over the years, using people, throwing them under the bus, taking advantage of situations and whatnot, that the thing that, you know, really, if she could just get it together, but it's the thing that she can't, because that's part of her karma. Um, when it comes to Mark Anthony, this is the this is the person that she feels like was like that love of her life and spirits talking about like her wishing that she could like overcome how he sees her she's very aware that he doesn't exactly see her in the best light like you might think i'm a good mom or you might like be like wow you've done a lot with your career or, or like i'm proud of you because we have kids together but like she feels like deep down inside like he's never gonna see her as being good enough and so it, which to him it's more just like i just didn't like seeing the manipulative energy or the mean side of you but she thinks that he doesn't see her as being good enough and that's her own insecurities um, <clears throat> she knows that he really don't want her back like that night. She's tried many times to get back together with him throughout the years through in between every breakup and he never goes for it. She feels like he continually chooses to give his heart, his attention, his love to other women instead of her. Not so much like, oh, when they were married or it's like now, like you'll choose any girl over me. Um, it wounds her ego. I don't feel like she's still in love with him. I feel like he's probably one of the few people that she actually did love though, if that makes sense. So, but again, she also knows that if they were to work it out, it would just end up falling apart again. So even though as much as she wishes that they could get back together, she also knows it's not going to happen. It won't work. He won't want it, you know. So uh, let's just see. We'll ask one more time and then I have got to get up out of here. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, by the way. And I am still not taking video requests, guys. That's not going to come back. I might start a Patreon for requested videos, but it's not going to happen over here because people just, every time I think maybe I'm going to, then all of a sudden people start emailing me and bothering me again and not com 
only commenting on the videos just because they want to get their question about something that nobody else cares about answered and just gets really out of hand. So, and I'm not kidding when I say it was disrespectful because some of it was outright, like completely freaking disrespectful. So, Mark Anthony does want to find love again, though, is what Spirit is saying. He does see himself getting married again. Don't be surprised if we don't actually um, see him have another kid, too, with somebody. Yeah, they're not getting back together. He doesn't even want to have sex with her. <laughs> She's just going to go out there trying to find her next victim. I mean, boyfriend, you know, and whatever she can do to keep her image up, to keep the money coming in, to keep the opportunities going, to stay on, you know, that cutting edge, whatever. But he's. They're not getting back together. Not anytime soon, at least. I mean, I don't... Things can change five years from now. You know, we'll check again then. But <laughs> I really don't see any time in the next few years. So, if you guys do hear any rumors, you know, that he's supposedly chasing after her, it's PR crap from her side. Because they want to make it seem like, oh, now that she's available, everybody wants to be with her again. Because she's just so, like, desirable. Because getting cheated on by A-Rod took a number on her self-esteem. So, anyways, guys, I love you all so very much. I am going to let you go. I missed you, but as soon as stuff gets straightened out, we'll figure something out. But in the meantime, guys, if you want to book your own personal private reading, psychicbelllove.com, and I will see you all again soon.